Hey guys, welcome to my channel Catchup Saga. In this video, the topic I cover, just take a look on the screen. So, let's begin the video. The bartender offers a woman a drink on the house when she enters the bar. Even though it sounds like the beginning of a comedy, baby reindeer's enacting incident occurs there, and what happens next is not anything to laugh at. Johnny's mistakes create the rapt relationship between them and feed the fire created by Martha's illusion throughout the entire series. So, how does Martha stalk Donnie? Donnie makes the crucial choice to accept Martha's Facebook friend request at the end of the first episode, which leads to moil and drama run wild. At that point, Martha's fascination with Donnie is severe, but as soon as she gains access to previously unexplored aspects of his life, she crosses the line and starts tormenting Donnie's ex-boyfriend Kelly, trying to get close to Kelly's mother, Liz, who Donnie lives with, using a false identity. In addition, Martha stands in the freezing cold for up to 15 or 16 hours a day at a bus stop close to Donnie's house just to have a fleeting opportunity to make unanswered small talk. At the end of episode 3, her pranks reach a crescendo when she confronts Donnie while he's out with a trans woman, Terry, and interrupts his stand-up routine with nasty heckling. Due to Donnie's shame and secrecy, the touch and go affair has its share of ups and downs, including the heartbreaking moment when Donnie dumps Terry on the subway, but she has been patient with him. Her remarkable comprehension is a testament to her work as a therapist, which stuck a code with Mao before she accepted the position. Following Martha's taunt that undermined Donnie's performance, he and Terry dash to get a drink. Then Martha appears. As the argument gets more heated, Martha attacks Terry and tears out a chunk of her hair. At last, Donnie contacts the cops. Then, in what is arguably the most intense episode of the series, episode 4, Donnie's visit to the station brings back memories of a horrific event that happened years before. Do Donnie and Terry end up together? After a little period of radio silence, Martha reappears with a revenge calling Donnie's parents to inform them that he has been involved in an accident. When Donnie tries to strike back, Terry breaks up with him because the results are too great. Mao thinks Terry's relationship with Donnie has a lot to offer the audience. Donnie, still in shock at Terry's death, runs across Martha at the bar again and this time she throws a glass at him. Taking the stage at a comedy competition, Donnie, at the end of his wits, develops everything about his failed relationship with Terry, his sexual assault, and his experience of being haunted by Martha in an uncensored public confession. Donnie's career began when a viewer uploaded a video of his epic breakdown, which went viral. Episode 7, which Gad claims his favorite, due of how it puts everything together, opens with Donnie narrating. It opens with Donnie thriving, his career taking off, and his aspirations realizing. Everything appears to be going well until Martha calls. She claims to have watched the viral video and threatens to disclose to Donnie's parents the specifics of his attacks. Donnie then confides in his parents completely about his bisexuality and about having been assaulted. He feels lightest as a result. He refers to tomorrow as a new dawn. What happens to Martha? Donnie decides to take Martha to the police once more as she leaves a voicemail that threatens his family. She is given a 9-month prison sentence after being arrested and entering a guilty plea. Donnie is also granted a 5-year restraining order against her. How does Baby Ranger end? Now that Martha is no longer involved, Donnie makes back in with Liz and makes amends with Kelly. Donnie decides to surprise his former mentor and attacker Darren by going to his old script that contains remarks from him. Donnie exits and collapses on the street while attempting to digest the wave of emotions after Darren levels his viral confession brief and extends an offer of employment. He listens to Martha's past voicemails again for Tuesday Solas, sorting them into categories like angry, sad, happy, distressed, or in the case compliments. Some of these complimentary remarks are heard in last moments of episode 7 as Donnie arrives at a bar. 
Gab's favorite part of the episode is what happens in these last four scenes. B. At last, discover the history behind Martha's beloved pet name for Donnie in these notes. Why does Martha call Johnny baby reindeer? Donnie checks the voicemail in his not listed to folder as he is seated at the bar. Martha says, I had this little cuddly toy when I was young in it. Went with me everywhere, earliest memory I have, I think I was Christmas. The old photo of me sitting with this paper hat on my head and this baby reindeer beside me. Anyway, this reindeer was this cuddly, floppy thing. It had big lips, huge eyes and cutest bee bump. I still have it to this day. It was the only good thing about my childhood. I'd hug it when they fought. And they fought a lot, you know. Well, you are a spit of that reindeer. That's some nose, some eyes, some cut bee bump. It means so, so much to me. You, you mean so much to me. The bartender asks Donnie if he's okay as he sobs. It dawns on Donnie that he needs to get his wallet. The series closed with a reoccurrence of the original scene. A man enters a pub and the bartender offers him a drink on the house. That's it for this video. If you like it, please, please subscribe to my channel and show me your support by liking the video.